What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is delete an event. So delete event or delete an event is a action that allows you to delete um, a calendar entry in your calendar. So this could be maybe an upcoming meeting that's been cancelled or maybe something that's been put in there by mistake. We can programmatically delete um, calendar events. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, I have a manual trigger flow. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger that and then I'm going to uh, add a create event step. So I'm going to add a, add a create event step to create an event that we're then going to delete later on. Uh, so this is just to demo how this works. So we will go in here and we'll click the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector and we'll create an event V4, which I've created in a previous video. Uh, we can go to calendars. So we'll just create an event quickly. So uh, calendar ID is the calendar. The subject is going to be um, test events to be deleted. Start time, we're just going to use a UTC now. Uh, no, I want, we need expressions, UTC. No, the uh, dynamicness doesn't want to work today. Uh, and we'll just put in, we'll just copy that. That'll probably work. Sure, if you want, we'll, we'll do something else. And we'll put in uh, UTC zero. UTC zero. Um, so we'll create the event there, and then we'll create a delay. So a delay is going to allow us to go and view the event before we delete it, just so we can see it being created and then see it being deleted. So we'll put 30 seconds in here, so the count will be 30, and the interval or the unit will be seconds. So we're just going to delay 30 seconds so we can see the event be created. And then we will go back to this, and we'll choose Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector. We'll scroll down until we find Delete Event V2. So this requires two inputs. It requires the calendar ID and it also requires the ID of the event itself. And this is why we're creating an event so we can see it being created, so we can look at what it is and then we can delete it. So the calendar ID is going to be uh, the calendar, so I can hard code this in. I can do this dynamically as well, so when a new event is created like in, in my calendar, I can just add a custom item and then specify that ID from there. But in this instance, I'm just going to choose calendar. And then the ID is going to be the ID of that event. So if we search ID in here, we find ID. So we can see that we're going to delete this in here. There was also a series ID if you want to delete the series. So this is the ID of this event. And then we can run this flow and uh, see how it works. So we'll click on test. I'll perform the trigger action, we'll save and test. And then we will click on run flow. So flow is running. It should pretty quickly create that event. And we'll see we're into the delay stage. And then we can see instantly in my calendar as I flick over, we have this test event to be deleted uh, with a start time of uh, an hour ago because uh, it's UTC zero and not plus one. Um, so yes, that event has been created and we are waiting for that delay to run through and then it's going to delete this event out of my calendar. So uh, that delay was set to 30 seconds, so it should be round about now that it deletes. So you see it's just disappeared from the screen. Go back to Power Automate, we can see the flow run successfully and we can see the deletion event here. So it's really simple, we can just pass in a calendar ID and an ID of the event, which you can get from creating an event or updating an event or another trigger around event if you want to, um, and then you can pass that in and then we can, um, we can delete it. So this will be useful in case you do get things like um, events being added automatically to your calendar, or um, things that may not, uh, maybe you know, you're leaving the business, or something you want to delete, or your uh, upcoming events and things like that. Um, maybe you could have a way to to do all these things in here. But as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this, uh, what I think of this action, what you use it for at the moment, what you may use it for in the future. Let me know. Um, if you did like this video, if you'd like and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.